we are going to look at Gibra synthesis of primary amines. Amines readily undergo a series of a reaction, so to get a primary amine is very difficult. That is why a proposed mechanism has been generated to produce primary amines without any further rearrangement or successive reaction. Gibra synthesis involves the reaction between a thalamide and potassium hydroxide to generate a potassium thalamide. The potassium thalamide, which is very reactive, will react with any ichor halide to produce an ichor thalamide, and the ichor thalamide undergoes a reaction with a hydrazine organic solvent to release the resulting ichor in with a primary amine and other impurities. So let's get into the mechanism involved in this reaction. The starting material is a thalamide. Is a thalamide, and when you treat a thalamide with a potassium hydroxide, you are going to generate a potassium thalamide. So the lone phase on this nitrogen will abstract the potassium to generate a potassium thalamide. And get a potassium thalamide. When we react this one with any ichor halide, so you have this. There is going to be a reaction between this nitrogen and the ichor portion of the ichor halide. So we are going to react this nitrogen with this. Carbon, and there is going to be cleavage of the halogen with the chlorine to generate an ichor thalamide. With the resulting ecatalamide, we will react the ecatalamide with a hydrazine There is going to be a reaction between this nitrogen and the lone pair of the hydrazine and the carbon a carbon of the thalamide. So there is going to be a ring opening. We are going to open the ring so that we get this. So we will get this. Then this side. Contain a nitrogen in the ichor portion. Next, the lone pair of the other nitrogen of the hydrogen also react the terminal carbon on the other side. So you get this. Then there's going to be cleavage of the nitrogen from the thalamide. So we finally get this product. As the resulting thalamide plus our corresponding I 
being of interest. Because that's how the reaction goes. First, there's going to be a reaction between the thalamide and a potassium hydroxide to generate a potassium thalamide. And the potassium thalamide undergoes a reaction with any echa halide, being this one or an extended echa halide. That will give you an echa thalamide at the end position, so n echa thalamide. And that n thalamide reacts with a hydrogen for ring opening. When the ring opens, the next nitrogen of the thyrosin reacts with the other portion of the carbonyl with the cleavage of the amine portion to get the hydrogen thalamide as well as the amine of interest. So basically that's how primary amines are synthesized using the Gibra synthetic method, which involves the reaction between the potassium thalamide and an echa Thank you.